Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's Up and Makeup chat. I just realized that I'm like all up in your face. <laughs> How's everybody doing this morning? It's so good to be here in chat on a Sunday morning. Uh, the husband and the kid are running a race this morning. Well, just the kid is running the race. The husband went for support to go uh, watch her run in this fun race. And then my son is on his media <laughs> entertaining himself. So he may be, I'm hoping he doesn't bust in, but he may. I'm just letting y'all know because I got to do the mama thing first. So uh, that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about travel makeup products. Uh, products that are really good for travel, products that are um, your makeup for travel. Travel season is upon us, okay? It is the end of May, and as some kids are already getting out of school. Some kids will soon be out of school. Some teachers will soon be not working anymore. So we have time for travel. Um, if you guys do not know, I am planning a giant road trip across the country. It's like a big loop. More details to come. I am going to be doing some meetups along the way. So keep your eye out for that. I will be doing a full video, like a little short announcement video, talking about to you guys about where I'm going, where I'm probably stopping, and getting your input on where I should stop to do meetups. So I'm pretty excited to get the community together to hang out. Um, they probably won't be super long meetups because they're going to be like kind of on the traveling road and since it's a family trip i probably shouldn't spend too much time with you guys but um i am going to we are going to be doing a few meetups along the way so we're making a loop um we're not going too high but we are going down low so but anyway i'll tell you more about that later so anyway so that got me thinking about travel and then it was suggested by my friend tiffany her username is Tiffany Dawn. She has an awesome YouTube channel. Um, and if you search for Tiffany Dawn on YouTube, you will be able to find her. Um, she does have a beauty channel, but she suggested that we make the chat about travel makeup. And I was like, yeah, that's such a great idea. And Ashley was the one that brought it to my attention. And um, it's a long little chain of events. But anyway, point is, we we'll talking about travel makeup this morning, my personal tips, and then also we're going to consult the collective brain of makeup awesomeness, which is also known as the wonderful people that are over here uh, on my screen in the chat. If you're watching this on the replay, you won't get to see the people who were talking in chat, but I will tell you as many of their comments as possible so that you can uh, benefit from their ideas stuff for travel makeup. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and say hello to the collective brain of makeup awesomeness. So I am going to click over there. If you are watching on the replay, it's going to take me just a second to say hello to them. If you wouldn't mind just being patient for a second and then we will get into the chat. So I'm going to go and scroll all the way up to the top and say hello to the first people that were here. Hello to Kathy. Hello to Julia. Hello to Kyla and Kristen. And good morning, Helena. Yes, I think I got that. It's, uh, I have to scooch in because my eyes are not functioning apparently. Hello, Julia. Good morning. And good morning to um, CY, CYR. Um, good morning to Julie. And the gold digger is here. Ready? <laughs> Julia says, everybody ready for some gin? <laughs> LOL. LOL back at you, girlfriend. Um, hello to Tabitha and to Sherry and to Cheyenne and to Snape's Honey and to Valerie and to Hannah and Megan and Amy and Roxanne and the makeup mom is here and yeah we're excited to be here I'm excited to have you here Tabitha um, good morning to Brianna and oh, I think I said Cheyenne already Kelly hello good morning Tara or Tara 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 I think it's Tara good morning to you and Jen Indie Kitty one is in the house Amalia is here and Courtney is here Emily and Flutie back is here Michelle Michelle is here. Um, speaking of Michelle, oh, and Deng is here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way back down to the bottom. If I did not say hello to you, hello to you. Um, speaking of um, of Michelle and Tabitha, I, I misspoke in the show today that I said this week Tabitha was the glue to the show. Tabitha's always the glue to the show. It was not an exception this week. She was just especially like sticky glue this week. So I want to thank Michelle for contributing and everybody else who contributed this week to the show. It was, it got a little, a little crazy for a minute, but we got it. We worked it out. So Tabitha, thanks for being the glue every week, not just this week. So I just wanted to clarify that. So let's go ahead. Oh, Delaney says, first time being live. I always watch on the replay. Super excited. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. Keep it real, Cam. I was watching What's Up in Makeup and lost track of time. Well, I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, my camera is low. Okay, let me go ahead and check out and see what's happening. 
let us see if I can fix this. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna move you guys up a little bit and then I'm gonna push this up a little bit so that that way I can see. How's that? Hopefully that is better. Okay, part of the reason why it was low is because I was sitting here going like this, trying to see everything. All right, let me get my coffee. All right, so the first tip that I have for you for traveling, put this over here, push you back. I'm gonna come for you over here. First tip, tip I have is to find a good makeup bag. So this is my makeup bag that my um, my sister-in-law Amy got this for me. This is a 31 makeup bag. I do not sell 31. I'm not promoting anybody. But if you know a woman, you probably know someone that sells 31, at least in my area. It's a multi-level marketing brand. They sell all different kinds of bags. This is their makeup bag, and I actually really, really love this. I've bought quite a few things from 31, and this is my favorite thing that I've bought. Um, I love that it has so many pockets. Uh, it's got things for makeup brushes here, but I, I store my makeup brushes differently when I travel. I usually put put mascara and eyeliner and lip products and things like that in here. Um, I love that there's the different zipper pockets. Really the big thing for me with a travel makeup bag that I need is pockets because I like to organize things. I also like this because it's got it's easily washable. You've got the vinyl, you've got the cloth. You don't have to worry about um, washing it and it getting all messed up. Um, I don't like the ones that are just one big pouch for travel unless I have multiple little pouches. But then I still feel like my stuff is not really protected. The we another reason why I really like this one is because it folds up like this and everything kind of stays in like a roll. And then you can clip it here with this little um, button here like that and then also you can clip this I usually go like this I don't know oops sorry out of focus I usually go like this and I kind of clip it like the handle like that so that it stays closed I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it but that's the way I do it because imagine this thing being like this like that's how I keep it closed is I kind of ring it through the one loop before I do the little buckle. Uh, but I love this thing. I have I haven't brought it on a plane yet, but I bought brought it on multiple car trips um, like New York, like New York and New York and <laughs> New York. <laughs> that's pretty much the only place I've traveled since I bought it. But it's, um you know, I throw it in my bag and I feel like everything stays really nice and safe in here. So that's the, the biggest, I think, most important tip is get yourself a good makeup bag. I don't know how much this costs because it was a gift to me, but it's pretty fab, it's pretty fab. And then they have all the different colors and stuff you can choose from. I'm gonna flip back over to the collective brain um, just to say, yeah, this thing is so amazing, KG, isn't it? It's really nice. Uh, Delaney says, I started a beauty channel and I'm super excited to join such an awesome group. I'm so happy that you are here, Delaney. Delaney says, um, it says Delaney's Daily Dose. So I'm assuming that that is her channel as well. Um, Jenna says, can you take your makeup um, carry on? For, for plane travel, when I've traveled by plane, I try really, really hard not to bring any makeup, no makeup in my carry-on. I try to store everything. I mean, if you're just going on a short trip and all you have is a carry-on, you have to really be very conscious of what you're bringing because of what the liquid rule and all of that. Um, but I try not to bring any makeup because one time I did try to do the whole carry on thing. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I didn't really need to bring that stuff in my carry on, but I was just, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I ended up having to leave some stuff at the um, person who was checking. I had to leave some things behind and she's like grabbing like my really nice makeup and like taking it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't take that. Don't take my, you know, Mark Jacobs, take my L'Oreal. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was like, no, stop taking me. Let me decide what you're keeping. Don't just take my stuff. So it was, anyway, it was pretty heartbreaking to lose some of my makeup. So you have to be really, really, really careful. Anything that is liquid, you have to um, store in a specific way. But you can look up um, the TSA standards and everything. I'm not going to go too much into what the rules are because they're easily Googleable. I want to talk about some things that aren't easily Googleable. Um, so, yeah, definitely make sure. Um, you don't, um, CYR says you don't have 31 in Texas. It's not a store. It's not a store. It's a multi-level marketing thing. So there are people that sell it like Avon. Um, you know, like it's, it's like one of those things. So if you go to 30, if I think you have to spell it out 30 dash one, you can buy them online or you can find somebody that sells them. So, um, yeah, it's really popular in Maryland and Pennsylvania. Yes. <laughs> Like everybody and their grandmother sells 31 uh, because they're really nice bags. They're really nice bags. So anyway, um, yeah, so it's not like a store or anything. You can buy it online. Absolutely. Um, 
Krista says, because she bought so much makeup at IMADS, even with me sending her the liquids in the mail, she had so much makeup, it did fit all in her carry-on. Yeah, you just have to be like really conscious of what you're bringing if you're going on a plane. Now, um, speaking of going on, oh, and perfume, you don't want to try to bring perfume on a plane. That's not a good idea. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just let it be. Let it be. <laughs> um, speaking of that, I do want to take a moment to thank uh, Nancy. Uh, my friend Nancy here on YouTube, she um, is a subscriber of mine. She sent me a busy art palette. I'm going to show you the Viseart palette she sent me. Um, this is what I'm assuming happened, that she um, got her Viseart palette and it was broken, so they she got a replacement and then sent me the original one, which I am so incredibly thankful for. I, like, opened this and I was like, <gasps> She sent me a busy art palette. Like, I was freaking out, freaking out. Like, I don't care that one of the shadows is is completely gone. Like, I do not care. Like, I am so thankful to be able to try these things. Like, I'm, I was freaking out. So, thank you so much, Nancy, for the busy art palette. That was so thoughtful of you. The reason why I want to bring this into this video is because this is what happens when you don't have an eyeshadow palette stored properly. Is things like this can happen. If you look at this palette. It's just plastic. All that is is plastic. So you would think that this would make it safely to its destination. Mm -mm, girlfriend, mm -mm. you still have to make sure you package this safely. My sound is echoing. Oh, no. <laughs> Krista sees my joke. Um, you can bring solid perfume, Lily says. Yes, that's very true. That's very true. Um, but uh, anyway. As you want to make sure what I do with eyeshadow palettes is I put them in socks. I take a sock and I put it in the sock. And then if it's small enough, you can put it inside a shoe. You can do that with anything. This, of course, would not fit into a shoe. But I could put this into a sock and then kind of shove this into, like, my clothing area to keep it. The sound's not lining up. Are you serious? Okay, if it's that bad, I will, um, okay, now, now we're good. Hold on a minute. Yes, yeah, Steph says, please follow TSA rules. Don't make the security lines longer, please. Exactly. Because it's not just affecting you. It's affecting everybody behind you. <laughs> That's a really good point, Steph. Really good point. Okay. All right. If you're having issues with your connection or if you're having issues with the sound, try going out and coming back. Yes. Thank you, Spring. Okay. Sarah says she's fine. All right. I don't want it to be an unpleasant experience watching this, especially for people on the replay. So, well, for the live viewers too, but on the replay, it's an hour long to watch this thing. All right. Um, Indie Kitty one Jen says, Gina 311 is the rule. Yes, you can bring them if they fit in the bag. There you go. All right. So anyway, I'm a little nervous about some, um, we, I think we might need some blockage here. Some blocking -ness, um moderators. I think there might be a Someone that doesn't like makeup is just here to call some trouble. All right. So anyway, um, so I wanted to show you what what um the way like the difference between different eyeshadow palettes. So like this violet Voss palette, I would never bring outside of um. You want to recommend a few Japanese and Korean products I think you'll like? That would be a good thing for an email. That would be a good thing for an email. Since this topic is not about that, definitely email me at jenlovesreviews at gmail.com, and I would love to hear about it. Uh, it's $25, Amalia says. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steph, for hooking that up. So this would shatter in travel. There's no way this thing would make it. So, I mean, it's just got this cardboard packaging. That is not cool. Um, this one, however, I wouldn't be as worried about. Do you see how it's like a stiff like really stiff cardboard, but just to be safe, I would still pack something like this in a shirt or in a sock or a sweater or something to make sure that it's good. But really and truly, when I pack eyeshadow, this is what I think about. I think about I want a neutral palette and I want a color palette. That's all you need. And these two palettes would be all I would really need for a trip. Am I only going to bring two palettes? No, because I'm a makeup junkie. But this would be all I would need. This is the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. This is a fantastic travel palette. It has all of your neutral shades for your transition, for your blending color, for deepening up the outer corner. It's really, 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 really nice. So definitely recommend this one. 
Um, this this is a fantastic, fantastic travel palette if you're planning on um, just packing light. Uh, the Lorac Pro Metal Palette, I don't know if this is still available or not. But this one's really, really good as well for um, getting those colored shades in. So, you know, it gives you your bronzes. There's a rose gold. There's this um, champagne-y kind of color. You've got this green. You've got a bright blue, a black. Um, you know, I mean, this is just a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic palette to have as a, a companion to the Naked 2. So, really and truly, this is your eyeshadow right here um, if you don't wear color this is your eyeshadow right here <laughs> so I mean you don't you don't need the whole world in eyeshadow when it comes down to it Patricia says she saves bubble wrap for her eyeshadows and that's a excuse me that is a really great idea um, is to use bubble wrap for your eyeshadows um, you can save the packaging when you get all of those wonderful packages that you get in the mail every day like I do um, save some bubble wrap for wrapping your stuff that's a fantastic fantastic idea um, Samantha says, I use the Naked Basics 2 every day, and I love it. Oh, it's fantastic. Cheryl says, I have saved the padded mailer bags from when I order stuff and breakable thing, put breakable things in there, just layer between clothes, and boom, exactly. Ipsy bags, the, the perfect, perfect, excellent job. And, yes, thank you to everybody, um, to the moderators for blocking the trolls. I appreciate you. Speaking of eyeshadow, I want to talk about brushes. Um, like I mentioned before, I don't pack my brushes in there. I save that just for makeup. I feel like this, this kind of container is so perfect for brushes. Like nothing's happening to this. Nothing, nothing's happening to this. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is if for some reason it gets shaken upside down really hard, your brushes can be crushed. So you want to try to keep it flat in your bag. But this is by Beauty Junkies. You guys know I'm addicted to Beauty Junkies. Unfortunately, my code no longer works for Beauty Junkies, but I am such a huge fan of Beauty Junkie brushes. This came with one of their brush sets. Um, also, I have one from Coastal Scents that they have one as well. Coastal Scents um, and Beauty Junkies sent me both of them, just so you know. But they're not paying me to say this, and I'm not. But like it has nothing to do with that. I just wanted to show you the type of container. Um, get get it wherever you like. But these things are so fab. They have the snaps on the side, and then inside is where you store your brushes. This is I would not leave on a trip without one of these things. And there's so much room for so many brushes. I and mean, you can you can easily store whatever brushes you need in here. So. Yeah, so very excited about um, about telling you about that because I feel like that's something that really saves me a lot is having this um, one of these kinds of things. How do these people even find the chat? Like, how how do they even? I don't even. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, Tara says or Tara says get idea. Great idea, Steph. You get snacks first. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I missed something that it's cool. Christina says Sedona Lace has one as well, and Snape's Honey says Posh makes a great little travel size double ended brush set in its own zipper case, um, and it sits sits in the palm of your hand. Another one, another company that makes a really good um, travel brush roll is Eco Tools. Eco Tools makes a great their eyeshadow brush set in the little roll thing is super fab. It's really good, but you don't necessarily need to buy a whole new brush set. You know what I mean? Um, Gina says, if they took your coat away, then, well, you know, oh, <laughs> you're funny. Um, you're funny. All right. So anyway, um, they didn't take my coat away. It just expired because it only lasted like a, mo a month. Alma says that Morphe has one, too. Uh, mm, Pancake says she loves Eco Tools. Me, too. And Michelle says um, she was saying she uses Pringles can for travel. Fantastic, but definitely eat the Pringles first. I agree. And wash it out. You don't want your the oils from the Pringles on your brush, even though I guess Pringles don't have as much oil as other chips, but. That's a really great idea. Sasha says that Elf has a zippered brush case um, that she loves. Very nice. Yeah, the Pringles can is a great idea. Fantastic idea. This is why I <laughs> Pancake says mm, Pringles. <laughs> KG says, I think the worst thing that happened was Mary Luminizer was broken when I got to my destination. I cried inside my heart. Yeah, Mary Lou's not going to make it. Mary Lou is not going to make it. you got to take care of Mary Lou. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, uh, Charity's here. She says, good morning. Just woke up. I thought I missed you. Can someone pour me a bowl of coffee? That's the way I'm feeling, girlfriend. I got a little less than four hours of sleep last night, so I'm totally with you. All right. Next tip. Moving on. Um, I want to talk a little bit about foundation. Um, found, foundation, really anything. Squeezy tubes are your friend. Do whatever you can not to bring glass bottles. Squeezy tubes are your friend. Before you put them, before you pack them, give them a little extra, little extra twist. <laughs> No glass bottles if you can help it. Squeezy tubes are the best. And if for some reason, you like let's say you're going camping, 
and you don't want to mess with a squeezy tube, powder foundation is another option. Of course, you want to pack this well. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this stuff. Um, it's the cocoa powder, not Born This Way, I'm sorry. Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation, not Born This Way. Sarah says, also don't take Hourglass. That's very true. The Hourglass um, highlighting palette, bad idea, bad, bad idea. <laughs> so um, you can always do a powder foundation if you don't want to mess with a liquid foundation because it's just too messy and goopy and gobby. And you want something a little faster. This will give you a nice lighter coverage, um, but it'll give you something. You know what I mean? But definitely squeezy tubes are your friend. Krista also says, so true, Spring. Becca barely makes it in my drawer. Don't bring Becca. You don't want to bring anything that is like this without packing it really, really, really well. Um, another thing is magnetic closures. Uh, let me show you something real quick. So with these, for example, you look at these and you're like, oh, you know, they're in these metal cases, they'll be fine, but then you realize that the magnetic closure is super stinking weak. These things open up so easily. Do not bring these without packing them in something else because they are going to open um, if the, the right, the wrong thing gets next to it. So definitely be very careful. Steph says Ziploc freezer bags are your friend. Yeah, so this would be a great thing to put in a freezer bag. Um, so definitely be these open super easily specifically those two face palettes any of those um, and then Sarah says you can rubber band them absolutely um, or bubble wrap it absolutely all right dark the cotton pads are awesome idea yes so another thing you can do if you want to protect your um, your blush or whatever if it had a sponge in it you can put a little cut or even like this this is the new the new makeup geek blush that I got in my um, my boxy charm, you can put um, a cotton pad in here, a little cotton round to protect it, definitely. But just make sure that it closes all the way because this has this beautiful magnetic closure. That was the reason why I wanted to bring this out because the magnetic closure on this is super, super strong. Like I have to really hit it to get it to open. It's really nice. Um, so another one that has a really nice magnetic closure is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighters. They have a really nice highlighter there. Um, CYR says uh, she uses hair ties. Very good. Love that. Love that. Krista said, I missed it. Press and seal works over the top too, Julia, Julie says. That is so stinking smart. All right, Krista says, you can go to Sephora and get three samples of your favorite foundations um, and when you get to your destination. Yes, good idea, Krista. Go get some um, go get some sample sizes, absolutely, especially if you're not going to be gone too terribly long, just a weekend. Go get some sample sizes or, you know, I'm, I'm, there's got to be some kind of container little container, whatever, you can just pour a little bit into it, kind of like a Sephora container. But yeah, great idea, Krista. Well done. This is why I love the collective brain is because you guys have just as good, if not better ideas than I do. So we all get to learn together, which is awesome. Uh, Julia says, I have a palette from Crown Brush Company called Exposed that is metal, but also has peg things that lock it tight, very tight. Nice job. Oh, is Sahaja here? I didn't know. She, is, she, is she Sasha? There you go. Okay. <laughs> and Morelli is here too. <laughs> hello, hello. But she, it says Sasha in her name. I thought that was Sahaja, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to assume it was Sahaja. And she said, it's okay. I call her Sasha anyway. It's interchangeable. <laughs> Morelli, Morelli, I love you back. All right. Diana says, reuse those containers from Sephora, or you can buy in bulk if you want to. I do that with my liquid. There you go. <laughs> All right, moving on. So next thing I wanted to mention was with perfume, if you must bring perfume, I don't know if you have a Scentbird subscription, but Scentbird makes those um, those travel little containers or whatever. The um, I couldn't find one because I don't travel with them very often, but, um, but Scentbird makes the little travel atomizer to drop these in. So if you have a Scentbird subscription, of course you're hooked up. Um, at, at, um, if you don't have a Scentbird subscription, I know they sell the little Travelo things at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all those places. They sell the little um, Travelo things definitely are a great way to go, but don't bring them in your carry on. Don't do that. <laughs> um, 
Okay. All right. Moving on. Uh, Delaney's Daily Dose. If you're going quick, then you can squeeze creams, et cetera, into contact cases. I do this for the beach, day trip, et cetera. That is such a great idea. Such a great idea. And Julie says, this is what I save all the samples for magazines for. Nice. Because you can use those samples and they're a lot easier to carry. Krista says a Dollar Tree daily pill container is good for liquid maybe. It might be good. And then you can just wash it out, put it in, you know, rinse it out real good and then put it in your dishwasher probably. I don't know if you want makeup in your dishwasher, but you know, but that is a really good idea. Really smart. Um, makeup Mama says Dollar Tree is the best place to get travel bottles. Um, Sahaja says a lot of times I take an atomizer or else I take a ton of samples, perfume or whatever. Yeah, you could take the little ones. Oh, we got we got them. The moderators got them. All right. Amber says I take my MUA eyeshadow palette so cheap, so it's fine if they break and they're impossible to open. Yeah, that's really good. Good morning, Kristen Game. How are you? I'm two videos into my collaboration with Kristen Game. Two videos in. I'm excited. We're doing the four looks, one palette. I have two of them filmed. I'm going to film the third look today, and then I don't know when I'm going to do the fourth look. It'll either be Monday. and It's going to have to be Monday because it's supposed to go up on Wednesday, and I'm so excited. Okay, so we're talking about travel makeup products, Kristen. So any of your tips would be much appreciated. I know that you have done quite a bit of travel. Kathy says Sephora, sun safety kits, lots of samples, great for travel. Get it every May. It should be out soon. It might actually be already out, maybe. I think I might have seen it. Delaney says, how do you pack your beauty blender? Always struggle with how to pack that. I don't bring my beauty blender. The beauty blender is too high maintenance for me for travel. Um, if I do pack it, I just throw it in. Um, I just throw it in here. And one thing I, um, one the pocket I use for it, this one here, this middle one right here is where I put my fake lashes and I put my beauty blender in this middle pocket right here. Um, oh, Kristen's definitely talking about those contact lens holders. She uses them for skincare. Very good. Very good. Catherine says, this has helped for me going to Florida. Nice. And Diana says, um, I pick my perfume samples from Sephora. I think I got the whole thing. So getting the little samples from Sephora and taking them with. Um, so, uh, Steph says, what about the pill separator thing? Yes. Um, my dry out, but as a thought, that was what Krista was saying. Great idea. Um, Cheryl says, I put my beauty blender in an empty pill bottle. That's a good idea to kind of squish it in there, like those bigger, fatter ones. Yeah, that's a great idea. And Valerie says she puts her beauty blender in an Easter egg. It's one of those obvious but genius things that I never would have thought of. Like, who would think to put their beauty blender in an, in an Easter egg? What? What? And if you celebrate Easter and you have lots of little kids, you probably have some Easter eggs stored in your storage <laughs> for Easter egg hunts for every year. You know, do the same. I know stuff's like mind blown. <sighs> I know, right? Like, really? Like, what? And then um, Nicole says, awesome idea with the Easter egg. That way it won't get squished. There you go. Mind blown. Mind blown. You did it. We're all like, okay, chat's over. We're good. We're done. <laughs> We've learned it. We've learned it all at this point. Oh my gosh, Valor Valerie is the queen of that stuff. Valerie is my my. Um, she she's got great ideas. She helps me out a lot. Um, Anne says, "I love your channel. Thanks for all these travel ideas." It's not me, man. It's the it's the community. I only had a handful. They're they're rocking it today. Um. All right. Let's see. Okay. So what else did I want to tell you about traveling with stuff? Um. I know there were other things. Um, just, I think the biggest thing also, especially if you're short on space, is definitely making sure you're only taking what you need and not just every baby. Like, I have so much trouble packing my makeup because it's like, they're like my children. My makeup is like my children. <laughs> Spring says, drop the mic, Easter egg, drill a hole in one end. There you go. There you go. All right. Yeah, so it can breathe. That's really smart. That's really smart. All right. Anyway, so I want to bring every single thing because like I can't live without this. I can't live without this. But you really don't need everything, really and truly. So um, so anyway, oh, a couple of off-topic things. Sahaja just says a beaut um put put your headphones in an old Altoids case, always saves them. Nice job. And Catherine says, off subject, Jen, but you have been proud of me. I put lashes on the videos and rock them. Yay, good job, Catherine. I am proud of you. Kenzie says, finally found the Jessie's Girl eyeliner. Nice, nice, nice. And then Steph says, OMG, you should make a video for this, Jen. There's so many gems. There are so many gems. There are. Like, maybe we'll, well, because this is kind of the video for it. Like, I feel kind of weird, like, doing this video and then doing the exact same video. I guess it could be, like, a shorter version. 
Um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, I wanted to tell you this jewelry. Since we got off topic for a second, this jewelry trick, this worked really well. I um, looked up um, packing hacks or whatever, and this worked really well. So you know how necklaces can get all tangled or whatever, like, you know, and it's just like, oh my gosh, like you, you can't, you take your necklaces out and they're just a hot mess. This is what you take bendy straws and you put your necklaces in the bendy straws and then they don't get tangled. So worked so well, so well. So yes. So I just want to show you that one because I'm pretty excited about that. That worked very well. So, um, yep. Any kind of straw really. Um, Alma says, I, I always say my dogs and my kids, but Jen says makeup like my kids. Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Makeup is my kids. They, they're like my babies. I love my makeup. I do. I love it all. That's why I hate decluttering videos. <laughs> so yes. Um, Kristen says, so smart. Wow. Good day for me to uh, play hooky from church. Oh, yes. I love the bendy straws. Like, this, it, it worked. It totally worked. I'm so excited about it. So like now I like zip through that so fast. I'm like, wow, what else do I talk about at this point? Oh, another like, no, like don't do this. Do not bring loose powder. Don't bring loose powder anything ever, ever, ever. No matter how much you want to, don't bring loose eyeshadows. Don't bring loose this. Don't bring loose powder at all. I don't trust it. I like weird things happen in a suitcase. It's kind of like, you know, when you have a bunch of cords and, you know, how in the world do they even get tangled? Because I don't think I could do that on purpose, tangling all those. Like, I don't know how in the world, like, something's going to hit against this enough times that it's going to open up by itself. I don't know. But event, it is going to happen. And you're going to have stuff everywhere. So don't don't pack any powders. Don't do that. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Um, if you must pack a powder, put it in a Ziploc bag by itself. Yeah, it seems to explode. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, Deepa's leaving to go to dinner. Bye, Deepa. Have a good rest of your evening. Um, Kanisha says, um, but my bare minerals pure glow. I know, but if you have to bring it, you have to bring it, but definitely bring it in um in its own bag by itself. Sarah says multitasking products, they're the, they're the best. I always like Duraline so I can have options for eyeliner, brows, and neutral palette. Yes, exactly. That was another thing I was gonna mention is the multitasking products. So be really short on space. Cream blushes that you can use also for lipstick or lipsticks that you can also use for blush, things like that. Um, eyeshadows that you can use as highlighters. Um, you know, there's there's lots of products you can use as multitasking kinds of things. Bye, Deepa. Um, uh, Cheryl's talking about pouring powder in a Ziploc bag. I don't know. That sounds really messy to me. I don't trust my Ziplocs that much. Ashley says all-in-one palettes are great, too. That's true. Like, if you have a palette that has everything you need in it, that you can really get a complete look out of it, you may just need that one palette. Uh, let's see. Um, Sahaja just says I use a small sample box for loose powders. That's a good idea. Delaney says Smashbox Masterclass 3 has eyeshadows, blushes, contours, and it's heavy duty. Yes. And Kristen says I use lots of Ziplocs. I use snack size baggies for each pair of earrings and keeps them safe. Good idea. And Michelle says yes, all in one palettes. Erica says I normally take my comfort zone palette. I know I'll love my look, and if it breaks, it's only $5. Yes, Wet n Wild Comfort Zone is a great go-to palette. Just make sure you pack it well because it's one of those that has that really thin plastic packaging that it will break if you don't. Um, and Pancake says ColourPop would be a solid. They don't count mascara as a liquid. I did read that, that they don't count mascara as a liquid. Um, but lip, liquid lipsticks, I would imagine, would be counted as a lip, uh, uh, as a liquid. Nelly says Emily Noel 83 just did a video in all-in-one palettes. Nice. I'll have to check that out. Um, Michelle says I use pill boxes for smaller earrings and other small items. Great idea. Helena, the chocolate bars are good for traveling. Just make sure it won't open. Exactly. I feel the same way. Yes, Amalia says, um, Emily Wall did a video about multitasking palettes, and I haven't watched it yet. Um, Catherine Downing says, the new Ulta palette that comes with six, uh, is 1650 purchase comes with a lot. Yes, definitely. Uh, Julie says, uh, press and seal your necklaces individually, too. And Sahaja says, jewelry rolls, love them, save my jewelry so many times. Um, so my suggestions for palettes were the, definitely the Naked 2 Basics and then the, the Rock Pro Metal palette. Those were my two suggestions, Jenna. Uh, Michelle says the Ulta Hello Beautiful palette is awesome. And um, Cam says I use buttons to keep my earrings paired. What? What? Genius. Absolutely genius. Duct tape. She says duct tape. We got 30 minutes left, girlfriend, and I just zipped through all my tips. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get my phone because I did open up a few websites 
that um, had some travel tips as a backup in case I ran out of things to talk about because I went like super duper uber fast. Um, Makeup Mama says the smaller Kat Von D palettes will be good too. Hello, Ellie. How are you? Um, Michelle's like buttons. Genius. I have to leave out the other word just until the, fir the first of July and then I can say words like that. Uh, <laughs> Andrew says, um, I can, can't travel with any Becca products because they always shattered. Somebody needs to make otter box cases for Becca pressed powders. Someone was mentioning that before, Andrew. I didn't realize it was that bad. I'm definitely not bringing my Becca on my travels. Oh my goodness, definitely not. Abby says, I'm bringing pressed powder and a compact. I always put a cotton round on top of the powder and snap the clothes. Keeps my powders from breaking. Yes, if you can, um, an otter box for makeup. I know, right? Um, if you can, if you can get it to close with that pad in there, you are good to go. Um, one thing that they were saying a lot on these websites was on a plane, making sure you have a lip balm and anything to hydrate you. So they were saying, um, you know, definitely keeping a lip balm in your pocket. And they're talking about bringing like Caudalie Beauty Elixir, things like that, things to hydrate your skin because a plane can be extremely drying. Um, Michelle wants to know what an OtterBox is. You're probably not the only one. An OtterBox is um, one of those like indestructible phone cases. I used to have one on my phone. I don't have one anymore, but it's like hardcore, like it snaps on both sides and it's got a cover on it and they're like guaranteed for life and they're, it's basically like indestructible. So saying you need something like that for Becca. So I know Gina, lots of gems being uh, dropped today. Yes. Okay. So let me see. Okay. This part, the Cosmopolitan says swipe deodorant on your face. What? What? Swipe your deodorant clean and then and then swipe it over spots you're likely to sweat on your face. Oh, that makes me nervous. The ingredients that keep your underarms from sweating will work the same way on your face. Just don't do this step every day since you could break out. Then apply moisturizer and makeup over top as per usual. Oh, that sounds scary. Oh, my gosh. Jenny says, I bring a cheap sheet mask for hydrating when I get off the plane and the hotel. A lot of people were saying um, on the... The, the there were quite a few people on these in these articles who were saying they do the sheet masks on the plane. I can't even imagine. I can't imagine putting deodorant on my face. I cannot imagine putting a sheet mask on on a plane. Like I don't like sheet masks anyway, but definitely not on a plane. But to each her own. And I will not judge. If you wear sheet mask on a plane that I am on, I will not judge you. You do your thing. But oh my gosh, deodorant face. Um. Okay, they're saying Cetaphil. This is this is Cosmopolitan.com. Apply a heavy moisturizer than what you would normally wear the night before you travel. This increases your skin's hydration before the effects of road tripping dehydrate it. Um, they say the Cetaphil moisturizing cream is good. Um, okay, enlist a mist, choting a travel mist like the Elf Mineral Mist, eight dollars helps the skin from dehydrating and keeps you from globbing on moisturizer when you actually need when you real. The more moisture than you actually need when you real, you realize your skin is flaky. So there you go. Um, Julia says it's a spray that dries instantly. I don't know which one. The degree quick. Do you put it on your face, Julia? The new degree quick stuff? Oh, my gosh. Really? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Diana says put earrings in a belt and belt holes. That's smart, too. Chris says a lot of YouTubers say they put on overnight hydrating mask on planes. Yeah. Jenny says I'm going to wait to put that sheet mask on privacy in my hotel room. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Molly is trying to problem solve here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and they're talking about um, using, instead of bringing a liquid cleanser to use oil-free cleansing wipes, I personally feel like I need a cleanser. Like, I don't feel like like cleansing wipes do enough for me. I don't know why. Like, I know that the makeup all comes off, but there's something about using a cleanser and then washing it off that makes me feel better. I don't know. I don't know. Um, they're talking about nail polish um, that, that, don't use bright polish on your nails like mine. I've had this nail polish on for like two weeks. And <laughs> it's like, it looks like doo-doo. So it's really important to, uh, if you don't, if you don't care, if you care about that stuff, definitely staying away from bright nail polish and using nude nail polish because it won't look as creepy if it starts chipping. Um, one thing I really like is I like the, let me show you. I have them right here. Three nail polish. These right here are awesome. These are the LaFresh nail polish remover acetone free wipes. These things are so amazing. I've been using these for years. I have a nail stamping video um, that these are, this is what I use for nail stamping to like clean off my, um, my nail stamper and I clean off my plate with these. These things are amazing for taking off nail polish. So packing a couple of these um, and I, I usually bring like a couple of these and I bring um, like two bottles of nail polish. So I have a choice, but that's just me.
that's just me. Um, but but no no nail polish is probably a better idea, especially for a longer trip. My longer trip, I don't know if I'm going to bring nail polish. I can't even imagine not having my nails painted for three weeks. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Like I'm really sad in my heart right now. I'm sad in my heart. Um, I got these off the website, the LaFresh website, um, and they sell them in like a big, huge box, but totally worth it for me. Um, you can also sometimes get these at birchbox.com in their birchbox shop. They have, I've seen them there before. Um, where else? But I've never seen them in stores, but it's really, really, really good, really good quality product. Kristen says, all right, I'm off to get ready. Maybe film and get up a bonus Sunday haul. Happy Sunday. Bye, Christine Game. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, Julia says, I want a Chewbacca mask for the plane. Did you guys see the Chewbacca mask, lady? Totally off topic, but that was pretty awesome. Um, all right, hand sanitizer, carry on dry shampoo. I would never spray dry shampoo on a plane. I'm not trying to gas out the whole plane. That's not a good idea for me. Mm -mm, maybe after. It says, um, Miniature ones like the Ojan Full Detox Rub Out Travel Dry Cleansing Spray, $13, works perfectly because they're TSA approved. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I love, I like LaFresh. I like them as a brand. Um, and they did not send that to me. I paid for that. Um, it's just use your flat iron as a regular iron. That's interesting. I would imagine that would be, I guess you just sandwich it. Hugs back, Kristen. Bye. Delaney says, um, Bobby pins the Tic Tac container and, and Q-tips in an empty Advil bottle. Oh, wow. Bobby pins in a Tic Tac container and Q-tips in an empty Advil bottle. Wow. I'm learning so much today. So much today. This is like just as much for me as this for everybody else. I'm learning so much. This is awesome. Kathy says, two ounce when replenishing treatment spray is great for hydrating the skin, face, and hair during a flight. Excellent. And then Amalia says something about colds. I missed it. Um, the LaFresh, you can stretch a LaFresh pad. I saw that before I scrolled up. You can stretch a LaFresh pad to to, uh, to both hands, but it's a little bit of a stretch, to be completely honest, especially if you have like a really bright or dark, like a blue or something, you're probably going to need to. But for like a nude nail polish, you can you can make it go to two hands. Uh, let me see. Where was that one? Amalia says, Coles went to her house. Oh, she's talking about the, <laughs> about the, uh, the, the Chewbacca mask lady. The Coles went to her house and gave one to everyone in the family. If you haven't seen the Chewbacca mask lady, it's it's really good. It's a funny video. Okay. Makeup Mama says, I saw a DIY where you cut sponges and put them in a mason jar and pour nail polish remover in. And you stick your fingers in the jar and it takes off your nail polish. I don't know. I thought it was neat. It sounds like the, like the ones that you can, like I brought. And this was, this was a big mistake of mine. Don't do this. Okay. I don't have the one that I had. Oh, no, I don't. The Ulta, I had, I had the Ulta brand one, this is a four brand one, but the ones where they have the sponges on the inside, I brought one with me everywhere. I got nail polish remover all inside that plastic bag. Everything that was inside the plastic bag that had my nail polish remover in that exploded, it was all ruined. It was all ruined. So do not bring makeup remover like this. Really bad idea. I, I, oh, it was horrible. I don't know if that would work with your idea, but with this one, this was really bad. <laughs> not this one, but the Ulta brand. I had the Ulta brand white container. It's like a white tub and you stick your fingers in the sponge. Well, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. <laughs> Because I learned from my learn from my mistake. Don't do that. Snips Honey says, get a bulk order of the animal sheet masks and hand them out to all the ladies on the plane. Yes, do it, do it. I dare you, and then take a picture or <laughs> put it on Instagram. All right, Cheryl said, folks, put deodorant on the bottom of your feet when flying. No one wants to smell feet on the plane. That's a really good point. Um, I see you, FBH. I didn't see what you said before, but I see you now. Christy Lee says, I always miss the live feed. Happy that you caught this. I'm happy that you're here. Delaney says, I hate those feelings when you put your finger in the sponge. It makes me want to gag. I like, the, I like the little sponge nail polish remover things. I like them a lot, but not for travel. Not for travel. Julie says, Elf has the $1 remover pads. They dry out quickly, but for the trip, it'll work great. And Rosie says, hi, Jen. Just waking up, and I made it. So glad you're here, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Busy Pop says, I'm too hungover, and there's mud in my hair. Oh, no. I don't even want to ask you about your night, girlfriend. Oh, my gosh. Valerie says, bring your makeup eraser on your trip. I love traveling that thing. I love my makeup eraser, and that's a really good idea. Makeup eraser is super fab. <coughs> Excuse me. The makeup eraser may be an overpriced towel, but I love mine. It's really good. It's really good. And all you need is water to um, 
like hot, like warm water. So if you have access to warm water on your trip, which most trips you do, I probably won't have access to warm. Well, no, I probably will. Even when we're camping, I'm sure we'll camp in places that have water access. I don't think we're going to rough it that much. Um, so, so yeah, definitely. I love my makeup eraser. I repurchased it. Well, I didn't purchase the first one. The first one was sent to me and then I purchased one. Oh my gosh. Went mudding. <laughs> Um, washcloths is similar and cheaper. Amaya, the, well, the thing is with the, with the washcloths versus makeup eraser, the makeup eraser is so much softer and I feel like it's more efficient than a traditional washcloth. That's just me personally. Like it's, and, and I feel like with a, with a washcloth, I do need to use a cleanser where with a makeup eraser, I don't feel like I do. So that's just me. I don't know. I just feel like it's more efficient for me, but that's just my personal experience. Um, let's see. <laughs> Oh, this is this. I, I did this for a video once. Don't do this if you're not doing a video. This says mask your roots with the mascara. Got roots you just noticed? If you have dark hair, use your mascara to cover up exposed regrowth. Stat. Okay, do you know what happens when you put mascara on your roots? It turns into a crunchy mess and it's creepy looking in real life. I can't tell in a video that I did that with my hair, but don't do that. This is a terrible piece of advice. I don't know who wrote this article for Cosmopolitan, but there's a lot of really weird things in this article, like the whole deodorant on the face thing and then now putting mascara in your hair. Don't do that. And it's really gross to get out, too, because then your hair turns all black. Like, and, it, and when you wash it out in the shower, it's like all black everywhere. It's like, ugh. Um, use butter as lip balm. Butter is, I don't even know who wrote this article. Ask the flight attendant for a pack of butter. In a pinch, it makes for an amazing and yummy substitute for lip balm. Okay. I'm going to believe you on that one. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to try that one. That just sounds so gross. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and I know, right? They do make products. They do make makeup products that you can use, like, as the for like your roots or whatever. Yeah, not a good idea, not a good idea. All right, we've got 15 minutes left. Let's go into a different article. This one is by WebMD. I know, butter on your lip. Like, I just imagine it like going down my chin and like get all these zits on my chin and like, that's just not a good idea. All right, let's see what WebMD has to say. Okay, they're just talking about moisturizing. Um, yeah, they're saying don't use foundation. The day of the trip, instead, wear just moisturizer. Before you land, add a tinted moisturizer for a fresh, healthy look. But some people want more than that, so I don't know. Uh, oh, French Hornet says coconut oil is good lip balm. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, what is the makeup eraser? Kenzie wants to know. It is a long cloth um, that you... <laughs> Keep it real, Cam says WebMD, we're all going to die. I know, right? I know. I'm with you, Valerie. Okay, so the makeup eraser is like a long cloth. You, they sell it at Sephora. It's like 20 bucks or something, and it's really just a cloth, um, and I use both sides. It says one side's for exfoliating and one side's for removing your makeup, but it really takes makeup off very efficiently. You just put it in hot water, and what I do is I mostly focus on my eye makeup with the makeup eraser so that I can use it multiple times, and I try to use as small of a section as possible, and then I just work my way down one side, and then I flip it over, and I use the other side. Which probably isn't the most hygienic thing in the world, but that's what I do. <laughs> so I end up using a makeup eraser like six times before I have to wash it. Um, Gina says, Jen, okay, wait until the end. Tell me your true thoughts about the makeup remover cloth thing, the pinky. You're supposed to not need a cleanser, but on a trip, it's not liquid. Yes, and honestly, Gina, I do love my makeup eraser. I have to tell you, to be honest, I love it. I do. Is it, But people say you can just get a microfiber towel, and it does exactly the same thing. I have not tried that. I don't feel like, I, but see, I feel like it's different than a washcloth. That's just me personally. I feel like with a, with a washcloth, I need to use some kind of soap. With a makeup eraser, I don't feel like I do. You wash it in the washing machine with the rest of your clothes. That's how you wash it, Jacqueline. It's pretty, I, I love mine. It may be gimmicky, I don't know, but I love mine, and I think it works great, and it makes me happy, so I don't know. Valerie says, oh, wow, see, that thing doesn't do well at all with my eye makeup. I have to use a separate eye makeup remover. Um, see, it works really well for my eye makeup. I don't know, but... You know, I don't know. That's just me. And then um, uh, Shay says she doesn't like makeup eraser. And Kanisha says washcloth uh, sounds like my grandma's pronunciation. Washcloth. I didn't mean to say washcloth. I don't usually say washcloth. That was a that was a little little. <laughs> it's very very soft. The makeup eraser is super 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 soft. Um, but oh, the other thing is with um, eye makeup remover. 
Um, if you want a, a nice good travel eye makeup remover, take some coconut oil and press it into like an old lip balm tin or um, or like a little jar or whatever and press it in and use coconut oil as an, um, as an eye makeup remover. Works really, really, really well. I've been using the Balm's Time Balm um, eye makeup remover and I like it just a little bit better than coconut oil, but I feel like the fact that it's in a tin really makes it super easy to use, the Balm's Time Balm makeup remover, but the coconut oil works just as well, well, close to just as well. And it's a stinking heck of a lot cheaper. But yeah, like a little tin or a little jar of coconut um, of coconut oil to take with you for eye makeup removing. Um, bad kid. Oh, hey, kitty. Um, we're all going to diet at some point anyway, so live life the way you want to. There you go. Kenesha says, um, Jen, someone's talking about a product called a washcloth. Oh, okay. All right. Never mind then. <laughs> Melanie says, coconut oil is great for so many things. It really is. Um, Sandra says, doesn't it pull at your skin? Not good for wrinkles. Anytime you're trying to remove something from your face, you're going to have to, anytime you're trying to, you have to use any kind of you know, you're going to have to put some kind of pressure on your face. I mean, even when I use coconut oil on my eyes, I still have to rub, like I don't have any makeup on so I can do this. I still have to go like this and rub my eyes to get, you know, it off. So I don't feel like it's any, oh, it's a, Julie's trying to explain it to me too. And so Sarah, okay. Hi, Kathy, it's Nana. Hi, Nana, Kathy. How are you? Um, Warsh is the name of the lady that makes the cloth. Ah, oh, gotcha. I understand. Okay. Thank you. All right, so anyway, um, I think anytime you're trying to remove something from your face, you're going to have to pull on at least a little bit. And I feel like with the makeup eraser, it's just like any other, when you're, you have to, like if you're using a makeup remover wipe, you're going to have to pull a little bit. So I feel like it's pretty much the same. Um, you just have to be gentle, you know, but it does work. That's my opinion. Seems like I'm in the minority here, though. So you may not want to listen to me because I like it, but it seems like like 75% of the people here don't like the makeup eraser, but I like mine. So you can listen to me or you can listen to 75% of the people that are here that say don't get it. <laughs> That's up to you. Uh, if I were you, I'd probably go with the 75% because they outnumber me, but, you know. Um, all right. So anyway, let's go back to this WebMD article. we got nine minutes left. Uh, they say mist with mineral water, so we talked about that. They're saying blot out oily skins, keep oily skin out of uh, from getting out of control while traveling, bring blotting papers or rice papers and dab the T-zone. Uh, add some shimmer. Does traveling leave your face a bit green in the gills? Perk up a tired sallow complexion with a soft shimmer powder or cream. Skip long-lasting lipsticks, they say. To give lips color that will last through your trip, skip the long-lasting lipsticks. They'll only dehydrate and part your mouth. That's pretty smart. Instead of crimson, instead crimson, I guess that's the person, says color your lips with several coats of a lip stain let dry on top of the clear gloss. Reapply the gloss throughout the trip and your lips will look just made up fresh. That's a good tip. I like that one. Apply lip treatment liberally. So hydrating your lips, really, really important. And then chill out puffy eyes. Um, to reduce under eye puffiness after a long trip, uh, American Ho Hotel Lodging Association Vice President and Chief Operating Officer says to put crushed ice in a washcloth and apply it under the eyes. It's an automatic wake up call that makes you look and feel immediately fresher. I, don't know, I guess you can ask for ice on the plane and say, can I have ice in a washcloth? Um, perk up your peepers. Watching back-to-back in-flight movies or reading that paperback novel cover to cover can cause weary, wait, can cause you to arrive at your destination with water, red, watery, not so attractive eyes. To avoid it, Los Angeles blah, 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 person says, um, don't forget to bring eye drops to lubricate and soothe your eyes um, if you're reading or watching a movie and blah, blah. So eye drops is the point of that one. Uh, French Hornet says, on topic, a suggested moisturizing on a flight. Michelle Fawn had a video saying products to bring while traveling, so apply makeup half an hour before landing so it looks fresh. Okay, cool, man. I don't think I'm going to go that far, but if that's your thing, yeah, definitely. Uh, Nicole says, I do unique lip stain when I, uh, she loves it as a tinted balm for, um, then she applies a tinted balm for hydration. Nice. And Cam says, I've heard the perm papers can be used for blotting paper, less expensive. Interesting. I've never heard that before. Um, yeah, Julie says, perm papers is genius. Diana says, I've tried uh, that It Cosmetics Balm Cleanser works awesome. I can use it on waterproof or regular makeup. Love it, and it doesn't burn. Um, Shay says, I look rabid when I get to my destination. And Krista says, okay, time for my birthday. Oh, yeah, it's Krista's birthday today. Happy birthday to Krista. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Krista, at mymonthlyobsessions.com. How was that? Happy birthday to you. Have a great day, Krista. <laughs> happy, happy, happy birthday. Oh, my goodness. And I read that this morning, and I forgot that quickly, like 15 minutes before, 
before the chat and I forgot that that fast. Um, oh, this is one from WebMD. Happy birthday, Krista. Have a great day, hon. Um, this is the last. Oh, no, there's a couple more. Love your naked lashes. Avoid wearing mascara where traveling. Um, when traveling, if I take a little nap, I wake up and find the mascara has left a migratory trail down to my cheeks. She also suggests skipping cream eyeshadows, which have a tendency to move around your face as you snooze. Um, banish bright nail polish. We talk off your face. That makes sense. Take your cleanser with you. Um, Oh, making sure to use the same cleanser that you're used to using because it can mess with your pH balance if you're using a brand new cleanser. Um, definitely getting your rest, slathering on the hand cream, and then packing your beauty products. Um, it says safe buys overseas usually include body lotions, shower gels, and soaps, talcum powders, and fragrances. Because um, you bring your own, bring your high-end facial products along because you're, they're much more expensive abroad. Um, tame your tresses. Keep hair looking good without igniting a firestorm of static electricity. It says um, bring a boar bristle brush, brush as your carry-on. Um, Valerie says I just don't wear makeup on the plane. Too much hassle. I'm way too lazy. Not alone there. All right. Have a good day, Krista. Bye, my friends. Bye. Um, yeah, I think I, I know you're not alone. You're not alone. Uh, get the grease out. To help cope with greasy hair. Buh, 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 buh. Water. A dry shampoo that cleans and deodorizes his hair as it adds volume. Comes in shades and matches. It sounds like dry shampoo. I mm -hmm. I've never heard of sham powder, though. All right, so that's pretty much it from WebMD. We've got 44 minutes left. Hi, Imani. Um, oh, Rosie says dryer sheets will help with static in the hair, too. Hi, Amber. Gina says no makeup or jewelry on the plane trip for you. Glad to have you here, Arpita. Arpita, did I say it right? Um, all right, so we've got just a couple minutes left. We're going to do some last thoughts from the community. Sarah says, Jen, how about Makeup Hacks chat some Sunday? We actually already did two Makeup Hacks chats. Um, if you go back, uh, we'll probably do one again eventually if there's some new ones to do. But we did the whole spoon trick. We did, it was a fun one. It was a fun one. Um, but, yeah, we have done that. I think I'm going to do the brush one coming up soon. Um, we did a brush makeup chat a while ago, but I want to do another one. I'm um, not sure if it will be before or after the trip because I don't know if we're going to be doing chat during our trip or not because it will really depend on the Internet connection. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm trying not to commit to anything because I don't know what's going to happen when we go on our trip. We're leaving for our trip. Um, the I want to say it's like June 25th something like that and then we'll be back um the it's like july 22nd something like that so just under um just around three uh we'll be gone Tabitha says not the spoons again Tabitha for next sunday i have no idea um so if you have suggestions after the chat is over definitely um leave comments down below if you have suggestions for chat for next week um, oh, and the other thing is, is if you're watching this on the replay and it's only showing like 10 or 15 minutes of the chat, don't worry. Give it about 10, 15 minutes. The whole thing will show up. It's a YouTube rendering thing. Sometimes it just renders the last 15 minutes and then it takes a while for it to do the whole chat. That's been happening the past few weeks. Uh, Melanie says, just from what's been makeup was so bad. Hey, loved it. Oh, thank you so much. I got ready on Periscope. So I don't even know what I did at this point. I could probably start doing more videos in general. Um, once I'm not working anymore and once I get back from my trip, I'm going to bump up the content on my channel. I really would love to do five videos a week. That's my goal is five videos a week when I get back. Jay Arnaz says, first time making it in the chat. Enjoy your trip, Jen. Thank you so much. It's so good to have you here. Bye, Amy. Um, Tara says, yawn fake fake yawn to make yourself yawn to pop your ears. Yes, I do that too. Um, Steph says, um, to chewing gum on the plane. Dan says, enjoy your trip. We'll survive without chat. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Melanie says, I missed it all. Next week is going to be 5 p.m. is the plan for chat next week because it is the um, the evening chat. It's the week where um, on the YouTube channel and when chat is in the evening for so that different people can join um, to kind of spread it out a little bit because some people can't do um, the morning chats. Uh, it's too early for some people. Some people go to religious events on Sunday mornings, things like that. Um, yes, uh, Sarah, definitely put them. Don't put them here in the in the um, your suggestions for future chats, don't put them here because they will be gone. Wait till the video renders and put them in the comments. I won't. I, I want to be able to keep your ideas. Plan some pace so we do not go through withdrawal. I'm going to be periscoping the entire trip. 
all the time. Um, my husband asked, actually also got a GoPro. He wants to vlog. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, Lisa, have a wonderful day at work. Um, yeah, we did do brushes br for our chat already, uh, Lupe, but I, I got another one, so we might point. All right, bye, Courtney. Her granddaughter is here. Hi, Courtney's granddaughter. <laughs> and then Julie says dryer sheets. Um, Sarah's up. Hmm, I don't know if I have enough ideas for that. That we could take up a whole hour. Annie, who? How are you, Annie? Um, Shay says, have a great day. Everybody's kind of saying goodbye at this point. Catherine says, I love watching you on here on Periscope. You're so helpful. I scoped yesterday and one of my watchers helped me. Yeah, and honestly, like the best i feel like i started on periscope and doing these chats with you guys i have learned so much like i have benefited i think more from communicating with the community here than you guys have benefited from me like because then i can take your ideas and i can spread them out to more people like i seriously it has enhanced my life so much to have you guys in my life and i appreciate y'all so very much so very much and it's 11 o'clock so we're going to go ahead and pop off here for today but i want to thank you guys so much for being here thank you to the collective brain i'm going to give you guys a collective clap round of applause for the uh, participation today in the chat. You guys not only taught me stuff, but you taught everybody in the community lots of things. I mean, genius ideas, the egg, the beauty blender in the Easter egg, what? The buttons, you put the pin, the earrings in the buttons, what? I mean, so many gems dropped today. So I wanna thank you guys so much for all these great ideas. Everyone's gonna benefit from you. So thank you for being here. If you put something up in the chat and you are no, uh, and it's no longer live, definitely make sure you put those gems in the comments below so that we can definitely make sure to benefit from your ideas. I can't read every single comment. It just goes too fast. And I'm in the middle of a train of thought. I can't just stop and read. So I, do, I miss a lot of good stuff. So it's not because I didn't wanna answer it. It's just because it just fell in the wrong place. Just bad luck. So definitely make sure you leave those in the comments below so that I can see them, the community community can benefit from you being here so thank you so much oh and if you're watching on the replay definitely leave your ideas down below so you can participate in the collective brain so that everybody can learn from you as well even though you weren't able to join live you were still part of the community you are still part of the collective brain so i want to thank you guys so very much for watching chat this morning i appreciate you that was really really fun and uh yeah i'm so excited to use some of these ideas for my trip and i can tell you how it all goes so i have a wonderful wonderful day or evening if you're watching this evening and i will see you guys next week or in a video if you count that as seeing you then even though it's not live so all right my friends mad love and i'll see you soon <laughs> have a great day bye my friends <laughs>